Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. What's going on that you don't know about? The Magician in Reverse. So they're keeping on, um, keeping on, keeping on. They've got a good game face on. They might seem all powerful. They might seem like they're keeping everything moving and everything's going well. Um, but they don't feel it. They do not feel it. They probably p feel actually maybe powerless within in one situation or another, one area or another in their life. Wow, we've got death. So we've got Gemini, we have Scorpio. I wonder if there's something um, that your person's losing a grip on here and it's about to be completely removed from them. So we'll see what this is. Oh, wow. Big, big cards. Okay, we've got three major arcana. Now we have the lovers reversed more Gemini. So something's happening. A choice is being made here, whether it's your person making a choice, spirit making a choice for them. And it could be a choice to do with something practical, to let go of something. It could be a choice they're making within, you know, I choose to be this kind of a person and align with that. And then we have the page of pentacles reversed. Um, for some of you, there could be something around a child. Let's say you're in a relationship with this person or they're in a relationship with someone else and a conversation has come up about, should we have children? Um, this person might be saying, my decision is no. Um, so, depending on where you, you stand in relation to this, this might be good news or not, but we'll see. Let's keep going. Okay, Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, I feel that whatever position you're in, I feel you are this Queen of Wands. You don't even have to be a fire sign. It's just my feeling here. And you're coming up in the reverse. So I feel you're not completely aware of what's going on with this person. So to be honest, I don't think for many of you, you're the one who's in a relationship with this person having these big talks about children. Um, I feel you might feel you're a bit on the outside and you're wondering, is this person noticing me? Do they care about me? Am I important to them? Um, yes, yes and yes, but the magician is reversed. They don't want you to see what they're doing. When the magician's reversed, I think of it like the person on stage performing, you know, performing the tricks that we know are staged and all of that. We just don't know how they're doing it. That's what I'm getting here. It's like, I want you to see the, you know, the, the sparks and the, lighting and the glamour and the amazing stunts I can pull off but I don't want you to see what's going on behind the scenes which is a death an ending something possibly involving a child um so let's say an ending of a relationship they're in now they've got to um I don't know move out of the home and, and see their child less often or something like that but something's going on um, and of course it won't be a child for all of you so I'll, I'll see what comes up what else that could be as we go um Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, there's a feeling that you've not been noticed, seen, treated by this person in the way you would have liked. And yet they are watching you. They are looking at you. Um, I wonder what they're thinking. Let's see. We have the Two of Wands reversed. So see, something has been decided. There's a new path your person's walking on. I'm curious as to whether it's one they've chosen or one that spirit's chosen for them. Seven of Coins reversed. So what they're thinking while they're looking at you is enough time has passed. Um, it's time to do something, take action. What is it they want to do? Ace of Swords reverse, speak their truth. This person wants to say something to you. Okay, let's keep going. We have the King of Swords, yes, okay. This could be your person, yes, we know they want to speak up, they want to be honest and authentic with you, but um, they could be going through a separation or a divorce. You know how we hear the Queen of Swords can be a newly divorced woman? Well, then in that case, maybe the King of Swords is a newly divorced man or a woman, just someone within kind of, you know, stronger masculine energy at this time. We have the tower in the reverse and look, can you see the world poking out as well? Yeah. Okay, so I feel they're about to walk through a tower that they know is coming because there's already been some kind of a decision that's been made. Yeah, look, four of wands reversed. Yes, for some of you, um, it seems that your person maybe is in a relationship with another person in a home with them. There are children or there's a child that's separating. So something's happening with their child that they're not too thrilled about. Like, well, I won't get to see you every day or something like that. If it's not... Um, a child that exists like i said it could be that a conversation about do you want children yes do you want children no has happened between your person and someone else so they can't really go further you know and that's going to end the relationship or the page of pentacles could talk about um 
a lack of opportunity let's see clarify this page of pentacles so if it's not children we're talking about what could it be here eight of swords so something some yeah there's been a lot of thought around this nine of cups reversed and this person whoever's dealing with your person see look we have a queen of swords now reversed they're not on the same page as your person there's a breakup here now it could be a romantic breakup um, and like I said, there's a child or children in, in the middle of this. It could be, it's a business um, breakdown. So let's say your person is maybe self-employed and has a business partner or something. They're not seeing eye to eye. Maybe one person wanted to expand and the other didn't. And they're realizing, okay, well, we can't stay stagnant. We need to keep growing and evolving. I guess we're gonna have to go our separate ways. Um, it could be your person's parents or own or, or one of their parents and your person is in fact this page of pentacles um <clears throat> but there is something here you see we have these there are two people one's up white upright ones reverse they're not seeing eye to eye it's it's very cold we've got the king and queen of swords and then we also have this queen of wands again i feel this is you fire sign or not male female it doesn't matter i feel this queen of wands is you you might be feeling completely on the sidelines you you, you know not knowing that all of this is going on or feeling like you're not part of it now the ironic thing is your person's down here looking at you and i say that because when this is reversed this crow's head you know is looking down here towards this queen of wands and the queen of wands is the warm charismatic exciting attractive um confident able um did i say independent very independent um person that we are attracted to that we want to um be with not this reverse queen of swords who is angry bitter nasty you know in reverse um using words maybe to manipulate there's arguments between them possibly no that that's not where your person wants to be at all and um yeah they're looking over at you and, and another thing as well as saying enough time has passed i need to come forward they could also be saying so much time has passed here should i come forward and speak my truth is it right is it a good time do you even want to hear from me at this point um am i brave enough let's see what else please with this ace of swords because you also you know you're coming up reversed so i feel that this person your person is getting a sense that you may have gone your own way a bit and you're focusing on yourself you're doing your own things they're kind of wondering how interested in them are you at this point you know if you haven't recently made it clear to them yeah nine of pentacles that's it so they want to come forward and tell you look i'm about to be in a much more independent place where i'm thinking mainly about myself or i have more time for myself but they're also seeing that you are very independent and you're flourishing with whatever you're doing and that could be true or maybe you've got your own reversed magician energy going on and you're really projecting this that you're you know doing very well and you're very content we have i'm looking at the two lotus flowers down here so it's like your person feels like you're two peas in a pod you know you've both been through difficulty you've both had to sort of rise above you've both transformed your lives in some way perhaps there's been a big change um from when you first met um and is this cherry blossom i'm not sure but it's if it is again we have an emphasis on timing you know this isn't this opportunity isn't going to be around forever and loads of people love to go and see cherry blossom when it's blossoming you know um so maybe you've got a lot of people interested in you and your person's thinking gosh we've not been in contact really for a long time am i still important to you is there someone else now that's got your attention but there is clearly a breakdown of something going on for your person and i do not think it's just internal i think with this four of wands um and the page of pentacles i think it's something practical it's something to do with a core foundation um that they have in their life home work um ex you know family um yeah and they're not seeing eye to eye with somebody and one other person here it seems okay so um let me see i want to pull uh, a sigil to see whoops oh look at this i'll take that indecisive i know my inability to make a decision hurts you well whether they've made it now or, or spirits made it for them two of wands reverse death a decision has been made 
possibly in the past they haven't been able to make a decision um maybe you walked away because of this or they made the wrong decision you know we say that and they you know i get the feeling they think they made the wrong decision and perhaps you agree as well but um if we think of it from like a sort of a higher perspective which sometimes you know when we hear this it can be like shut up i really don't care i don't want to hear it other times it can be quite healing so take it or leave it depending on how you feel but if you look at it from say like a 5d perspective it could be that this was meant to be whatever has happened here that's now ending maybe it has taught your person something they would never have learned with you and i you know for example this queen of swords let's say this is someone your person is dealing with right now they are being mean cruel cold bitter wounding your person whenever they can with their words with their actions would you have ever been that way with this person would you have ever been so deliberately cruel maybe not probably not so maybe they wouldn't have learned whatever lesson it is they have learned in this situation you know so maybe you couldn't have been the person you couldn't have provided the circumstances and situation for this person to have gained the insight they have maybe you could just never have been as um antagonistic you know towards your person as, as they needed for example so um whatever it is that, that they've learned here or, or experienced um this detour may have actually been right on a soul level and i do think it's made them much more appreciative and aware of the connection between the both of you which does not remove any feelings of regret pain hurt you know in a 3d sense of course Okay, so what is, oh, here we go, what's this person focusing on dealing with? We have the number 61. This is really making me think of, say, um, justice, balance, that sort of a thing. We've also got, like, it's making me think of the yin and the yang. Um, a feeling of what goes around comes around, so karma here. So let's see what the book has to say. Okay, wow, temporality. Okay. If you have drawn this sigil, what is preventing your progression is that you are either too attached to the temporal in general or to an aspect of the temporal. This has caused you to lose sight of the bigger picture, which includes much more than the temporal world. You might be looking for a solution that does not exist in the temporal world. Okay, so there we go, that focus on time. Um, so this is great because the only, th well, I don't know, let me let me not put my opinion in, <laughs> but the only thing I think that's holding this person back right now from just reaching out and being like, look, this is how I feel, this is what's happened, can we have a new start, is time. Has too much time passed? What's happened in the time in between now and, and when we last spoke? Have your feelings changed for me in the intervening time? Something about time, and I get the feeling that it's not that important, really. As in, it's important because you maybe have felt isolated, rejected, there's been things that need to be, be discussed now, potentially, for some of you. Um, but in terms of the time that's passed, has it made it so that your person shouldn't reach out or that you wouldn't reply to them? No, I don't think so. But that's what they're concerned about. So um, they're not indecisive about um, do they want to reach out or if you're already talking, do they want to open up about what's going on with them? Um, do they want to leave this other situation, whatever it is, and have a fresh start with you? They know that, but it's, it's really just has it been too long? Did I take too long? So... Um, if you're in a position in which you feel that it's not uncomfortable or you're not putting yourself out to reach out to your person or to, you know, um, make some kind of gesture to let them know that you're still feeling friendly towards them, that could be something helpful here if you want to do that. Um, I think these days it's quite easy, you know, if you're on social media or something as well, you could just interact with something they've posted perhaps, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think if they had a bit of a sign that you haven't completely shut the door and moved on, they would feel more encouraged. But like I said, if you've already done that sort of thing, then definitely don't feel you should keep doing it unless you want to. Okay, unappreciated, I felt like you didn't care. I wonder why, I wonder if you have different love languages or something, or if this person was used to certain kind of relationships or people and something about this was very different. Um, so even if what they're used to maybe you might consider to not even be particularly healthy, it's what was recognisable to them and they weren't finding it within this connection. 
Um, but it says felt like, so they obviously feel differently now or see something differently. Unfinished business, we still have things to resolve and discuss. So yeah, as far as they're concerned, um, this has been left unfinished, it's not over. But they really do admit that a lot of time has passed. So for some of you, it could be years, it could be a lot of time by anyone's standards. But, you know, for others of you, it could be a week and they're saying that this has felt like an eternity. Okay, commitment, I want you to be a part of my future. Yep, this new future, definitely. Yeah, and confusion, I feel unclear about where we stand. And, you know, perhaps you feel the same. Okay, what else? Oh, look, see, reveal, I want to tell you the truth. Yes, they do. Yeah, and they want to talk about this unfinished business. Okay. Well, we have to see what that is for sure. Yeah, I think, you know, if you can, if you want to give them a nudge of encouragement, because that's just going to get this moving, um, you know, and I think that's probably, you know, what you're wanting, perhaps. Okay, look, you're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. Very nice. Okay, what else, please? What else does this person want for my viewer to know? The energy is gaining momentum. I had someone, this happened um, some, a few years ago now, someone messaged me saying, I think just like a simple hello, and I was actually, I think, in the shower at the time, and then by the time um, I picked up my phone, saw the message to then reply, I'd been blocked, and I think what ha had happened is they thought that um, I was ignoring them, or maybe they were just messaging to see if they were blocked in the first place, I don't know, but um, my thoughts were, you know, you could have given me a minute. I literally just hadn't seen the message. And I don't know. See, today I feel the need to keep passing on these messages almost to like sort of soothe and to bring a practical reminder of, I don't I don't know who's feeling anxious potentially or like, oh, well, they haven't messaged. So they must, it must be that they're never going to message. And I'm trying to sort of be the voice of reason and say, well, maybe they're just busy. You know, maybe in this case, it really is, there really is just a simple, harmless explanation. So I don't know, as I said, if someone's feeling very anxious or um, if someone's had people, friends, well-meaning people in their ear saying, well, if they liked you, they'd have replied by now, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, sometimes there are exceptions. Sometimes a person really is just not in the same room as their phone. So I don't know. I don't know why I feel the need to, to keep passing on these practical messages, but I do. And, you know, going back to that one at the start, if you see your person and they really seem to be going out of their way to help somebody else and you're thinking, oh, they're seeming very close, don't read too much into it. Doesn't mean they're romantically attached to this person. It could just be their nature, their way. They see a problem. They want to solve it. Um, or even maybe your person, you know, experienced parentification as a child um, and now they feel obligated kind of innately without thinking about it to fix everybody or whatever, you know? So there could be other explanations. Okay, meditate and contemplate. We have new moon in Pisces here. See, this is this is almost the thing. I feel your person wants you to know they're very close to making a big decision. The energy for sure is gaining momentum. And what I really don't want to happen is for them to just sit down then and meditate and overthink. So if you want to give them a nudge, go for it. If you're like, no, out of the question, fair enough. Um, we'll hope then that, you know, they get it together and do come forward because yes, I feel time has passed. Um, but it, only, you know, the only thing that's gonna happen if they don't reach out is that more time is going to pass. So that's what's going on. That's what they want you to know. Their big concern is really, did I wait too long? Something is breaking down in their life. I don't think they want people to know about it. They might feel a sense of shame that it's breaking down. Um, 
you know, oh, I'm ashamed that my marriage isn't working or, you know, the phrasing people use is so telling, oh, my marriage is failing, oh, you know, well, maybe it's just reached its natural conclusion, which feels much better, you know, when we say it that way or, or you know, um, I don't know, my business is failing, just, just failing, you know. So yeah, maybe they're feeling a sense of shame, even if they perhaps shouldn't be, but I do feel they want you to know because in building this new future, they do want you to be a part of it here. They want some kind of commitment. And I do think in the past, you may not have received that. You may have known they were very attracted to you. They wanted to enjoy your time, company, have fun with you, but you maybe never got that feeling of, I think they want to move this from like a king and queen of wands into a king and queen of pentacles and ground this and build, but actually they do want that now. So, you know, of course it's up to you to think about if it's too late or not. I get the feeling that for many of you it's not too late. Um, so I hope they will come forward. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it helped and I'll see you soon. Bye.